Sadly, deaths from COVID now approaching 2,000 a day. That is the most since the height of the pandemic in February. And then there's this, rapper Nicki Minaj. She says she was leery of vaccines after her cousin's friend became impotent after getting the shot. So to clear up the confusion, the White House has cleared a call to the rapper with White House medical staff. The panel is back right now. Uh, Tehran, I'll, I'll let you lead this off. Nicki Minaj has 22 million Twitter followers. That's 18 million more than the CDC. She has more power with millennial blacks than medical experts. So a lot of black athletes and celebrities are either refusing to get the vaccine or are spreading lies. This is a big problem. Well, first, I have to full disclaimer, Dell. I'm not a big fan of Twitter. I have a Twitter account. I retweet things. But I follow no one on Twitter. So I'll just, just so everyone really knows that. Um, I don't know. I, I look at it in a, in a couple ways. One, um, you know, obviously Nikki has a right to believe what she wants to believe in and, and, and speak her mind. But I'm here, I've been hearing a lot the past few weeks of people, you know, senior level folks wanting to blame um, the lack of vaccinations on black people not getting them. And to me, that's a cop out. At the end of the day, if President Trump wouldn't have politicized uh, the coronavirus and would have spoken positively about eradicating the coronavirus, then we wouldn't be still living in this coronavirus era. And the Nicki Minajes of the world who, were, who are still step, skeptical, skept, skeptical of the virus would, you know, would, would be allowed to do so, but in a more jovial manner because we would have eradicated the coronavirus. Um, now, I understand the government of Trinidad and Tobago um, tracking down her cousin's friend, whoever the gentleman was, to make sure that um, nothing was wrong with him with respect to getting the vaccine. But, you know, sometimes the best form of action is inaction. And so I don't, you know, I'm happy that Nikki's getting a, a meeting with Dr. Fauci and whomever to have a conversation about the vaccine and the virus and so forth. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it was necessary for the White House to, to reach out to her. Quadricos, um, by the way, joining us uh, for the first time on the panel this morning. Um, should black people hold them accountable for the damage that they are doing? In other words, should there be more collective outrage from the black community on this? Uh, thanks, Lou. Listen, I think the same people who uh, support Nicki Minaj, who listen to her <clears throat> on various other topics would be the same people who are saying don't listen to her. Uh, the problem here is that herd immunity is, is free. And we have, there are all sorts of misinformation out there with regard to the vaccine, with regard to being in, in, impotent, um, and you name it. The reality is uh, Nicki Minaj, as, as well as others, uh, are not well informed. It takes a celebrity to get this type of attention when the, the fact of the matter is, and I know that given what the CDC and the sort of miscommunication the CDC has put out in recent uh, months regarding the vaccine, but people need to take ownership of their own health. And that that's the reality of this situation here. And so all of a sudden, Dr. Fauci wants to meet with Nicki Minaj. I think it's silly. People need to stop listening to celebrities who are not experts, who are not scientists, who are not researchers, and they need to take their health within their own hands, listen to their physicians, and get the vaccine. It's simple as that. And that was the tweet that has pretty much been dispelled by every leading medical expert. But Josh, I'm going to quote Emma Gonzalez on this. And for you Democrats, I'm going to call BS. You know, when it comes to a Republican um, celebrity, if they say something dumb, the Democrats jump all over them with both feet. Democrats, though, on this one are being relatively quiet because she does have 18 million Twitter followers. And, and to take Tehran's lead, I'm on MySpace, so, you know, don't worry about me and social media. <laughs> but where are the Democrats expressing outrage about what she tweeted and how wrong it is and how it could possibly... In other words, why does the White House have to take the lead on this when Democrats, like yourself, all those strategists out there can be saying this is wrong and, and this is an outrage? Because that's what you would be doing if it was... Um, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, for instance. So I'm actually of the opinion that I think it's a great idea that the White House uh, reached out to Nicki Minaj. Uh, look, she's got a huge following on social media. She's reaching people that, you know, politicians are not reaching, health officials aren't reaching, the CDC is not reaching these people. Uh, and look, there's still vaccine hesitancy 
uh, amongst young folks. So I think they're taking this opportunity to bring in someone who's got a huge following uh, and hopefully educators. So I see this as a moment uh, where we can uh, educate Nicki Minaj and hopefully millions of her followers who may not have taken the vaccine yet. Uh, I, I see this as a good opportunity to get some good out of this. So let's just leave it here right now. You looked at the tweet. Let's just dispel any rumors. It does not cause things to swell. It does not <laughs> cause sterility. Tehran, Joss, stop laughing, you guys. Thanks for being with us.